Hi, I thought that this book would be great to go along with our week on seeds and how plants grow. The title is Creepy Carrots. The words are by Aaron Reynolds. The pictures are by Peter Brown. Notice this book is a Caldecott honor book. It was chosen as one of the best picture books the year that it was written. I want you to look at how the title is written. And if you were here, you could feel the letters are even raised. They're bumpy off of here. So the author really wanted that title to pop out. Creepy Carrots. You know how I like to look at the inside pages and at first I thought, oh, some nice carrots. And then I noticed some creepy carrots hanging out there. Creepy Carrots, published by Scholastic Books. Jasper had a passion for carrots and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough of carrots. Ooh, there's an ellipse. So either it's going to continue or something's going to happen. Ooh. Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the Eastville Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister, tonk, tonk, tonk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Crack and Hopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing, terrible carroty breathing. And there on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, dad, dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. 
that wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him, but they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Crack and Hopper Field. Oh, make sure you read the pictures. Do you notice what he's doing? As the sun finally set across Crack and Hopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tonk, tonk, tonk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. Oh my goodness, look. He even built a moat around it and put alligators in. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Hopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never set into that carrot patch ever again. Yeah. Those carrots outsmarted Jasper. They creeped him out so much that he decided to build a fence so the carrots couldn't get out. But really, the carrots were trying to keep him from going into Crack and Hoppin' Field again. Those were not only creepy carrots, they were some smart carrots.